hello everyone let's provide the solution to this problem x to the power of 3 minus 30 is equal to negative x okay the first step to take right here is to collect terms together to collect like terms there's x there is x so we have x to the power of 3 this will become plus x over here and this is minus 30 then there's nothing on the right so this is zero now the next point is for us to is for us to express 30 in this form so we'll now have x to the power of 3 plus x now since i want to express 30 in this form that means i'm bringing out 27 because 27 is the only factor of 30 that can be written in this form. So we now have 27, right? Let's do this. Then 30 plus 3. I mean 27 plus 3 will give 30. So everything is still equal to 0. If you open this bracket, then you have x to the power of 3 plus x minus 27 minus 3 equals 0 now we can express this in this form and then this and this will be compared so we have x to the power of 3 plus x then 27 is 3 to the power of 3 minus 3 and this is equal to 0 we bring this and this together so we have x to the power of 3 minus 3 to the power of 3 then plus this is appearing here and this comes here so we have this equal to 0 so the next point is to factorize these two terms and then do this together but before you work on this we call this difference of two cubes and it's a standard that we always use to do this if you have a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3 this is the same as a minus b multiplied by a squared plus a b plus b squared so if this is the case then our a is x and our b is 3 so let's substitute a minus b becomes x minus 3 then into a squared that will be x squared plus a is 3 then b is x that will be 3 times x let me turn this so here now we have plus b squared that will be 3 squared close this then we have plus x minus 3 and then we still equate everything to 0 now x minus 3 is a factor then the other factor from here will be x squared plus 3 3 times x that will be 3x plus 3 squared that will be 9 right we have this we have this in um, this bracket then plus open bracket x minus 3 everything is equal to 0 and then you look at these terms this x minus 3 is a factor already because it's here and it is there so if you factorize x minus 3 out then here we have um, x squared plus 3x plus 9 we close this then this divided by this will give us positive 1 so you close it and equate to 0 so if we continue then we will have to open this inner bracket x minus 3 is still a factor then right here we have x squared plus 3x then 9 plus 1 will give 10 we close this and equate to 0 now we are multiplying two terms to get 0 so it is either one of the terms is equal to 0 or both of them are equal to 0 so our x minus 3 is 0 mind you i will go back to this quadratic expression and i will equate it to 0 x is equal to 0 plus 3 
Now x is equal to 3. This is the real solution to this problem. Now the next point is to go back to the quadratic expression x squared plus 3x plus 10 and then we equate it to 0. Okay, so we are going to equate this to 0 and it gives us a quadratic equation. But then what method do we use? We are going to use the formula method. For the formula, our a will be 1, b is 3, and then c is 10. If you do not know how to get your a, b, c in the quadratic formula, then sit back and relax. a here is a coefficient of the first term, which is x squared. b is a coefficient of the second term, which is the coefficient of um, x and is 3. Then c is a constant which is 10 right so let's continue from here as um, we have the formula minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac everything over 2 times a now we substitute straight into the formula x will be minus b is 3 so we have minus 3 plus plus or minus we have square root of b squared that will be 3 squared minus 4 times a which is 1 times 10 which is um, our c then we divide by 2 times 1 and it's still 2 now x will be minus 3 plus or minus 3 squared is 9 minus 4 times 1 times 4 that will be 40 then we divide by 2. If we go ahead, x will be minus 3 plus or minus. Now, because you're seeing the perfect square under the root, you might be tempted to find the square root of 9. Then you find the square root of 40. That would be wrong. So you have to simplify this first, which will give us square root of negative 31. Then we divide this by 2. My next target is to remove this negative, okay? So if I do that, x will be minus 3 plus or minus square root of 31. Now, where will I place the negative that was here before? I will multiply this by negative, square root of negative 1. So we divide by 2. x will now be minus 3 plus or minus. Then we have... Um, square root okay square root of negative one is imaginary so we write i then let's leave the square root of 31 so that we will not have our answer in decimal and this is a two in one solution so that x can be minus three plus i root 31 over two or we have um minus 3 minus i root 31 over 2. If you bring the three solutions together, then our x1 is 3, the real solution. Then x2 is minus 3 plus i square root of 31 over 2. Then our x3 is minus 3 minus i square root of 31 over 2. This and this are complex solutions, but the first is the real solution to the problem.